Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel. Now, for those of you who did not see my little community post I put out, yes, last night there was a Warriors Den live stream, but unfortunately, they gave us no cool information. There was nothing worth talking about. All that stuff is coming in the next Warriors Den live stream. So I didn't want to make a Warriors Den video because it sort of wasn't worth talking about and I just don't want to put one out to get views because that's a little shitty. So there's nothing worth talking about. I'm not really going to talk about it. I'm going to give you something else instead. So for the longest time, I've had people asking me if I can do my own hero tier list okay so which heroes do I think are the, like the top dogs S tier whatever which ones do I think are the shittest and I haven't done that video for a very good reason first of all it's purely opinion based and I know for a fact that when you do something opinion based I do a lot of Ravens rambles where it's just me giving my opinion people tend to shit on it whenever they have an opposite opinion now there's nothing wrong with that but people have a massive bias when it comes to the heroes that they play if they only main one hero and I go and say that hero is a bottom tier then that guy's gonna go ahead and start shitting on the video just because I called his main low tier or something. So people tend to get very heated with those tier lists. People tend to get very like, you know, salty about it, depending on where you put it. And of course, it's an opinion based thing. If I only come up against say shamans and I shit on them 24 seven, and I say shaman is like low tier, everyone's gonna be like, no, shaman's OP is shit, gonna put a high tier and it's, gonna, it's a clusterfuck in other words. So that's why I sort of avoided that video in the past. I've seen other creators do it and yeah, their videos are just, it's, it's, it's a mess. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give you guys my hero reworked tier list, okay? So which heroes do I think need a rework first, and then, you know, second, and then so on and so forth? Because we are getting hero reworks. Who fucking knows with brand new heroes if we're even getting brand new heroes season 7 onwards? The devs right now left us in the lurch a little bit. But we know we're getting reworked heroes less than we did before. But it's good to maybe place them, at least in my opinion, and let you guys know what I think needs a rework first. And then, you know, which heroes they can sort of, they're doing okay right now, and they can wait a while. Now, before before we get into that video, I know people are going to be asking about my uh, new tattoos because I have had more tattoos done. So I did get uh, my arm done here with uh, three ravens with like this red smoke coming out of their mouth and a tombstone. It looks fucking sick. It blends in really nice. I had this done yesterday, so it still hurts like a fucking bitch. And uh, the arm one, I'm not going to show you properly yet because we just got the outline done with that. We haven't really done any work on that. I'll show you guys once it's done. I also put some pictures up on screen, some better quality ones because it's really weird showing it on the webcam here. So let me know what you guys think of that down below. But with all of that said, let's get into it, shall we? So the way I'm going to do this is I have top priority, I have middle priority, and then I have low priority, okay? Now I'm going to preface this with top priority are the heroes that need a rework ASAP because they're really lackluster in terms of what they can do. They're really lackluster in terms of like, you know, unblockables and bleeds and like just, just ways to open people up and do stuff like that. And of course, they're uh, ones that people have been asking for for a very long time because they're pretty basic now compared to, you know, the rework Kensei, Conqueror, Highlander, Shaman. They're just way basic. Middle priority are characters who can still do pretty well. Their kit is a little bit longer and they, you know, have a, a couple of unblockables. They have a fair few things in there, but they're not on the level of, say, the Shaman and those characters I mentioned before. They still need a rework. They still need something to bring them up there. But for the most part, they're viable, but boring to play compared to those other characters. And then we have low priority. Now, these are characters who right now work perfectly fine. They do great. There's nothing really wrong with them in terms of how they play. Their kits are nice. It's just they need that little something in order to bring them on par with like the Shaman and stuff like that in terms of how they feel. So let's get started, shall we? This will come to no surprise, but Orochi is the first one that I think needs a rework. He's in my top priority list, and that is because the Orochi right now has really two forms of play style. Okay, he has his like, you know, top spam where he'll just like tap tap, nice and quick, hit people twice, and he'll have his zone. Now he does have other ways of playing where you can sort of, you know, wait for them to attack, do a riptide strike, depending on how good you are. If you're really good at the flex, you can do that, but it's not as rewarding as, say, just going for a parry and slapping people. So the Orochi is viable. For all your mains out there, he is viable. Just boring to play. I jumped on him. I've been playing him a little bit lately because I, you know, anticipate a rework coming for him, so I've been trying to get my head around him and then, you know, get into playing him. He's just kind of boring. You jump on the character like the Highlander and you're just whirling around, you're slapping people, you got unblockables, you got all this really cool shit and he just feels good to play. You jump on the Orochi and 
and he's just slow. He has a limited moveset, and he only has a couple of ways of playing, really. So he's up there on my top priority, and I do think he's going to be getting a rework in Season 6. Now, next up in this category is the Valkyrie. Now, the reason why I'm picking the Valkyrie is because, once again, she has a very limited way she can play, and her kit is a little bit more extensive than the Orochi, but at the same time, she just falls into that trap of being very simple and very boring to play. And you can also tell that because out of all the characters pretty much in the game right now, Valkyrie's played the least, at least in my experience. I never fucking see Valkyries, and when I do, it's very rare. I always see a bunch of Orochis running around, but I don't see any Valkyries, and that's just, take that over for what you will. But I know a lot of people have been having the exact same experience. So I do think Valkyrie will be one of the next ones to get a rework, although, depending on how many they do, if they only do one or two reworks, then, you know, she might get pushed back to Season 7, but... I think she needs one very soon. And the last one in the top priorities list for me is the Warden. Now, the Warden is a fan favorite, okay? Lots of people fucking love the Warden. They really want the Warden to work. They want him to be a bit more than what he is right now. And I agree. He has a couple of ways of playing. You can either go the Vortex Spam, but that's been, like, you know, just nerfed into the ground now. You can sort of go for that really annoying fucking... I'm just going to sit here, I'm just going to turtle, and I'm just going to parry every fucking thing that comes my way and then hit you with, like, you know, a light or a heavy attack, Warden. I hate that style of gameplay, but you can do that if you want, or you can just go for, like, you know, the zone, like, light tap spam. Once again, he's sort of limited, but I will say this, he is better off than both the Orochi and the Valkyrie. That's why I personally think the next two should be Orochi and Valkyrie. That's an unpopular opinion because no one plays Valkyrie, so everyone wants a Warden done instead. I get where people are coming from. People who play Warden want it done. Lots of people play Warden because he looks cool. Same with Orochi and not many people care about Valkyrie but if I was really to go off who I think needs it the most right now Orochi and Valkyrie and then Warden as well but all three of those are in my top priorities list and those are the three that I think we're going to be getting soon and now we move on to my middle priorities list okay so once again these are the characters who right now you can play no problem they have a decent kit they play well they're just a little bit stale in how they play and of course you know they're nothing like the Highlander rework Kensei and stuff like that so they do need some love but when you actually play them, you can play them fine and there's no issues whatsoever. You can have a little bit of fun, but they're still a little bit boring. And we're going to be kicking that off with the fat man himself, the Shigoki. Now, the Shigoki does well, okay? He has his chargeable unblockables. He has, like, you know, you can charge one up and then just let that heavy rip and slap someone. You can charge it all the way, hit him with an unblockable. If you're playing 4v4s, it's great to do that. He also has his unique thing with his guard break where he can, you know, club them away. And, of course, he has his demon's embrace, which, if you're on low health, can instantly kill someone on full health, which is still pretty fucking insane to me. So the Shigoki overall, he plays fine. You can play him and have a good time. For me personally, I just think he needs just a little something. He needs a couple of things tweaked on him to make him a bit more viable. The way the game is moving right now, it's moving to a faster paced thing, okay? And Shigoki is really slow. So he's gonna need something to either double him down with how, like, you know, beefy he is, or he's gonna need something to speed him up a little bit in order for him to keep up with everything everyone else. Now moving on next up in the medium priorities list is the Raider. Now, I was struggling with this one myself. I was struggling where to put the Raider in the top priority list, which I was leaning towards on the middle one. The reason why I end up going for the middle priority list is because the Raider does have some pretty crazy mix-ups in terms of like, you know, you go for a side attack and you can do the stunning tap and you can just do stunning tap from pretty much everything. He has these nice little days and he has these guessing games and these mind games and stuff going on. I'm pretty sure he still can't get a heavy off a guard break. If that's true, that needs to be fucking changed. Although it's not as bad now with the new parry changes, but still, if that's still a thing that needs to be changed. And of course, the Raider has that unblockable zone attack. So he has a fair few things. He does play fine. But once again, he just needs a little something to bring him up to the standards of, say, like the Highlander and the Shaman and that. But yeah, I end up putting him in the middle tier because he doesn't need it as much as the Orochi and the Valkyrie and the Warden, at least in my eye. Now, next up on the list is the Nordic Turtle himself, Mr. Warlord. Now, the Warlord is one of those characters where, once again, he plays great. He has a nice kit. There's several things you can do with him, but he is still limited in what what he can do. You're either trading blows with people, you're either headbutt spamming for that light attack. His damage overall is really low from playing the every other character. I play lots of characters and I kill people nice and good. With the Warlord, I'm hitting people with heavies. I'm like, you know, slamming them around the place. You can carry people off ledges and stuff. But his damage overall just doesn't seem as impactful as, say, when I jump on the Kensei and I'm fucking raping people. So the Warlord plays fine. He just needs something, where that is adding a few more moves, where that's adding a few more unblockables or something, where 
whether it's just upping his damage and giving him a few more chains. I'm not really sure what they can do with him, but just overall, he needs something. I'm just not sure what, but he does need something. So that's why he's in the middle tier. And the last one for the middle tier is the Nabushi. Now they did nerf her for some reason with the previous reworks. They nerfed her, buffed her a little bit. I'm not sure why. The Nabushi before was fine, but she was nowhere near the levels of Shaman. She was nowhere near the levels of Kensei or Highlander when they were reworked. So I'm not really sure why they nerfed her, but buffed her a little bit. In my opinion, she needs something more. They need to actually give her a rework and give her some more things. In my opinion, they need to not give her a whole bunch of unblockables. I like her bleed playstyle and like, you know, the fact she does more damage once the character's bleeding. For me personally, they just need to add more chain and double down on her kicks. So right now she has the fact that she can kick people and then follow up with a bleed. I really like that style of play. She, they should give her more avoidance moves. So if you time it right, you can sort of like avoid a move and then kick them and then bleed them. Just double down on that in my opinion when it comes to Nabushi. Just give her a few more of those and she'd be solid. But now we're moving on to the low priorities list. Now these characters, play completely fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They have a ton of options. You can play great with them. They just need a power buff and a couple of extra moves added in for a few of them. I'll get into that in a minute. This one's a bit weird, but these characters, they work fine. If they weren't reworked, it would be fine, but they do need something. Now, first up is the Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper's fine. She's still fucking top tier in my eyes. She has a fast light attack spam. She has a fast fucking, you know, zone spam. She has her bleeds. I love the bleed playstyle. I love how fast she is. They just need to fix the fact that she's so spammy because right now there's only two styles of playing with her okay it's either just the up in their face going like this with your fucking guard just tapping at them every now and then whenever they're trying to attack just tap tap and just fucking annoy the shit out of them and then of course there's some bleeds in there or it's you know doing this thing sort of thing and you're tapping them and then you're dash dashing backwards dash forward go for a quick zone attack dash out and you're just sitting there in their face just zone attacking them okay now once again that's really fucking annoying and you're bleeding him at the same time. They need to fix her playstyle so that way she has that quick nimbleness of her. Add some more kicks. Give her a fucking dive roll. But don't make her as fucking annoying in the way she plays. Where she just sits there and just goes like this. Okay, and just like lie attack spams you. So she does need some extra moves. And they do need to like rework the way she plays. But right now, if they didn't do any of that, she still plays fine. She's still top tier. There's nothing wrong with her. So she does need it, but not as much as everyone else. Because the difference is you can still play her and do great with some of the other characters you have to real fucking work at it in order to do great. So that's why she's low priority. Now, next up on this list is the Lawbringer. Once again, the guy has a shit ton of moves. He has a shit ton of things he can do. He doesn't need a massive rework overhaul like the other characters do. You can play a Lawbringer and do completely fine with him, especially with the way you can just bully people by shoving them around the place. You can tap them. You can like unblockable them. There's just tons of shit you can do with him. He works fine. But I would like to see them bring him up to the style of everyone else because once all these other characters get reworked, Worked. The Peacekeeper and the Lawbringer will be behind everyone else and they will need to be stepped up to like, you know, the rank of everyone else. But the good thing about it is it's not going to take that much to get these guys up there because right now they're, they're already solid. And now we get to the last one in the low priorities list for me and that is the Centurion. Now this one hurts me on the inside, okay? I fucking love the Centurion. He was my favorite guy. He's my highest rep guy. And when he came out, he looked sick. I loved his play style. Yes, he was fucking overpowered as shit. <laughs> Do not get me wrong. He fucking was, was fucked. <laughs> And now they've nerfed him a whole bunch and with the brand new parry nerfs, he's sort of, you can still play him, you can still do well, but he's not as good as he was. He's a shell of his former self and it hurts my soul so goddamn much seeing him fall from grace like this. But here's the thing, right? And I'm going to get some hate for this. I know I am. Once you rework all the other characters that I've mentioned and all the characters are at the level of say the Shaman, the brand new Kensei, the brand new Conqueror, the brand new Highlander, they're all at that level, okay? Or Musha, Gal Gladiator, they're all there. I fully reckon you could put Centurion back to the way he was or close to his launch state and he would be fine. He'd fit into place. Of course, not so much with the whole how fast he was knocking on your ass and stabbing you every two and a half seconds, but I think you could sort of revert some of the changes, give him back a little bit of what he had and it would be fine. Right now, Hell no, because then he'll just fuck on people all over again. But once everyone's reworked, I think you could revert some of his changes in terms of like the speed of his jabs and stuff. And I think he could be fine and he would fit in with everyone else and he wouldn't be stupidly overpowered again. You wouldn't need to add extra moves and stuff to him. His moveset right now is completely fine. When it comes to rework, he just needs his timings changed and reverted a little bit. So that way he's a bit more viable in terms of what he can do. Because right now, unless the opponent is sleeping or you're like, you know, get him from behind, you're not really going to land most of your moves. But yeah, guys, that is it. So top priority, I think it's Orochi, Valkyrie and Warden. And I think we're getting Orochi and Valkyrie 
Aubrey in season six. Most likely though, it's going to be Orochi and Warden just because they're the two favorite ones and Ubisoft right now just needs to get everyone happy and then they don't want to piss off the Warden players, which is a lot of them. So it's most likely going to be Orochi and Warden. I think it should be Orochi and Valkyrie. If it was me personally, I'd put out all three. Middle priority, which I think would be like, you know, season seven or eight onwards, depending on how many reworks we actually do get in season six. In my opinion, it should be Shigoki, Raider, Warlord, and Nabushi. And then whenever we get more reworks, because they said that they're not even going to be finishing all the reworks this year, most likely. But whenever we do get the rest of the reworks, then it should be the Peacekeeper, Lordbringer, and Centurion. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my hero rework tier list. I await all the salt down below if I, you know, put your character that you want, like, reworked, not in the right spot. Sorry for that, I guess. But yeah, that's my opinion, and that's what I think. But that is the end of the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I love reading and replying to all your comments down below. And feel free to check out my Discord and Twitter. There is a link down below in the description box for both of those as well. The Discord is a great way for me to talk to you guys outside the YouTube comment section. And of course, the Twitter is a great way for you guys to get a notification whenever a video is being uploaded because YouTube is a bit weird sometimes. And if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to support the channel further, feel free to check out my Patreon. There'll be a link down below in the description box and a link will pop up at the end of the video. And if you choose to donate, it is greatly appreciated. And a big shout out to my current Patreon whose names you've been seeing in the background. Just wanted to say thank you for your support. It really does mean a lot. And please share this video around. It does help me out a fuck ton. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.